Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to briefly explain to you how navigation works in a Xamarin Forms cross-platform application. Uh, using navigation pages and adding pages to the stack and taking them off. So right here what you're seeing is the app or app.xaml.cs file in the root project of this solution, which basically contains the cross-platform code instead of the Android or Windows-specific code. And uh, basically right after initializing the component, which is just taking the, um, just taking the app.xaml file and merging it with this app.xaml.cs file, you see the line main page equals new navigation page, new generator page. So uh, what this means is that it is taking a brand new navigation page, which allows the app to have a back button and also allows it to have the page stack. And it's immediately pushing on this new generator page, which is just a uh, content page that I've added some extra stuff to. And it's assigning that to the main page. So this is, in other words, going to be the first thing that shows. But this content page is wrapped with the navigation page. So if we go over to the uh, generator page, which I'll show you at the top is just a content page with, I mean, obviously a lot more to it, but uh, at its core, that's how it is. And it's got this method, which is called when I click on a button, specifically the generator button called on generate clicked. Uh, the thing you'll notice about this method is that it's asynchronous. Uh, which is basically necessary whenever you have a asynchronous uh, method being called within your uh, function. And the asynchronous part, or the part that's basically going to wait until uh, everything's ready before it activates, is this navigation.pushasync um, method call, which as the argument has new display page uh, with its own argument. Um, but really, the display page is just a new content page that also has a lot more I've added to it, custom stuff. Um, and we're adding that new content page onto the navigation stack. So uh, the navigation is basically referring to the navigation page, and we asynchronously add on a new content page. And then when that content page is added, it becomes the one on top of the stack and also the one that is shown on screen. So it's not really complicated. Uh, you can make this method or a method like this get called with anything. It could be a button. That's probably the most obvious case. But anytime you want to um, basically add a new page onto the stack, and in other words, change the page, make a new page, the one that's on top, you just need to call navigation.push async with some kind of content page in it within an asynchronous method. So let me show you this in actual practice. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, and here's my app, the fake log generator for Town of Salem. Um, so this basically requires me to add some inputs because it's a generator, it needs to know what it needs to uh, generate. I'll leave that off. And then this generate log button, that's gonna call this asynchronous method on generate clicked. Um, so let's go ahead and click that now, and you'll see it creates a new page, the display page, adds it onto the stack, and displays it. One cool thing about navigation pages is that if you have more than one item on the stack, there's going to be this back button on the top left. It's uh, one of the pretty basic but very handy navigation components that it adds for you. Um, and of course, that is uh, platform dependent, but I'm pretty sure all the platforms, iOS, Android, and Windows, each have their own variant. So I can hit back, and that basically pops that last display page off the stack and returns us to this screen. So very simple. Uh, I hope that explained it fair enough for you guys. Just remember, um, you got to call async, and when you create the app... Uh, or at least the section of the app that you want to use this kind of navigation. It has to all be built on a new navigation page, but you only create the navigation page once. So uh, just to point out again, when we create this new content page, it's not wrapped with a new navigation page. So yeah, once again, uh, I hope that explains it pretty well for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I've been Chris, and I'll see you in my next video.